What's up, Nick Kids? It's your boy Nickelodeon. What's up, Nick Kids? It's your boy Nickelodeon, and today I am showing you all my Nickelodeon collection. I'll start with this. Okay, this is a Nickelodeon trivia game. I haven't actually played it, so I can't tell you much more beyond that. But I know it has all these cool characters like Cat Dog, Tommy, Eliza, SpongeBob, Ickes, Arnold, Daggett, Norbert, Reggie, Dora. Like, I could go on. And so I love having it in my collection. I do plan on playing it one day. I just haven't had the time. We're moving. A lot of stuff is getting packed. It's been hectic. But above that is this, I think, nine, 1990s Burger King pencil case or pencil holder or whatever it's called. But it is a Nickelodeon airplane. It's from um, the Back to School series that they had. But it looks very retro. I love it. I filled it with cotton, so it acts as a plush. But I love the way it sits at the top of my collection. Then, I'm just going to get to this because I'm very, very sad. So, as you saw, I messed up. And I dropped everything in my collection. And so, as I was picking everything up, I couldn't find the rest of this. This is Tommy's screwdriver. Well, this is the handle. But it has another end to it, which is Tommy's screwdriver. And it's actually a pen. It's from the Nick box. And it looks so, so cool. And I can't believe I can't find the other end right now. I'll, I'll find it as I move. But <sighs> so sad I couldn't show you guys that. But let's just move along. Then we have this Gerald vase. Now, if you have a Nick box subscription, you might recognize some of the stuff in my collection. That's okay. This is from the Nick box. And so is this. This cool Daggett and Norbert Halloween vinyl. Now, it is a little dusty. Uh, I don't play with these things, but I'll get to it. Now, behind them is a little box of Nick 90s. It has pins, patches, stickers, and magnets galore. It's pretty cool. I had that one in the SpongeBob one. Um, I'm going to open it at some point, but for now, it's sitting in my collection. Behind all these cool things is Nickelodeon playing. Oh. I promise you guys, I have picked this mess up like five times today. I keep dropping stuff. And this time, I was doing everything in my power not to touch anything. And I didn't. And a fan on the left of me fell and knocked everything over, man. I've been trying to record this video for like an hour. But let me get back to it. Here I have my card collection. It's just regular Nicktoons, Rocket Power, Rocco's Modern Life, Rugrats, Spongebob, Ren and Stimpy, regular Nicktoons, Hey Arnold, and Cat Dog. I don't think I'm missing any, but if I am, leave a comment. Please let me know what it is that I'm missing because I want them all. So far, I have nine packs, and I don't play cards at all. Moving along. Here I have Disney's Doug. Now, I know it's Disney, but I say time and time again, it still counts as Nick. We have Quail Man, Quail Dog, Skateboard and Skeeter, and Skate and Patty Mayonnaise. I love these toys. They're still in the box. The boxes have been open, I'll be honest with you. But they're just such beautiful toys. And when you open them up, they have accessories and everything. I'm so happy to have these in my collection. These are so cool. I got them from eBay because obviously they're old. But I actually watched Disney's Doug. And I'm one of the few that liked it. I loved it. I thought it was cool. They had Dirt Bike, his little brother. It was just amazing. I loved it. So, here we have the Are You Afraid of the Dark flashlight. Now, this is really, really cool for me. Because Are You Afraid of the Dark is one of the only Nick shows where I actually watched. It might be the only Nick show where I actually watched every single episode. I love those stories. They're amazing. Having this flashlight allows me to tell my own campfire stories to my kids. And I'm happy I have it. It came from the Nick box. Then we have Tommy still in the package. This is from the movie. He's dressed as Okie Dokie Jones. Now, I'm not sure how rare this is, but I know it was a great find for me. Because obviously, it's from back in the day. It's retro. And it's still in the box. So, that's always cool. Then, I have... Chucky eating a reptar bar that is in fact from the Nick box and I think it's really cool It's one of the newer vinyls and it goes along with Tommy. He has these really dope shades on He's got this hairbrush, but no hairs or comb 
it's it's really cute. They both together look amazing. Um, here I have Cat Dog, another vinyl figure from the Nick Box. I am so grateful for the Nick Box because they give me so much cool stuff to put in my collection. Then here we have an interesting story about these, but you can watch my video and you'll know. We spent so much money on these dumb little things right here. But they're cool. They have stickers inside and stuff. And then here we have a Doug toy from Doug's first movie. That is from Burger King. Again, it's Disney, but it counts, okay? So that is a coin purse. You could put coins in the back of it. I love it. I think it's pretty cool. But moving along to the next level, we have this... Tommy watch from Burger King now if you were a cool kid you had one of these you know what this is this one is still in the box I have more too if you want to buy one but I love it I was so happy to have it I actually want all of them then in the original VHS tapes in orange we have the Rugrats movie next to that is the third Rugrats movie Rugrats go wild which was a crossover with the wild thornberries if you didn't know which I would hope you know but in the middle of that, we have a Rugrats, I'm sorry, Nickelodeon Easter egg. I've never opened it, but I'm sure it just has some generic candy in it, but it just looks really cool. Look at Reptar, Rocco, Chucky, Tommy, Ren, Stimpy. It's dope. Under that, we have the piece of the aggro crag. That came from Nick Box, and it's very rare. I've sold like three of them for like 80 to 100 bucks a piece. People love this. It's from Nickelodeon Guts. I love it. Not sure why. I've never watched Guts, but... I'm just happy to have it in my collection. I love this even more, though. I definitely watched Rugrats. It was one of, it was, mm, I don't know. It's between Doug, Hey Arnold, and Rugrats, but my favorite show on Nickelodeon. And under that is this Chucky Planter from the Nick Box 2. But in front of him is Gerald. Gerald, Helga, Phoebe, sorry, Phoebe, and Arnold. As I was saying, that is one of my favorite shows, if not my favorite show, Mr. Wynn episode about his daughter is absolutely my favorite cartoon episode um behind them we have salt pepper mrs salt mr pepper i think and paprika they're actual salt pepper shakers i got these from box lunch i love these they're so cool i can't wait to put salt pepper and paprika in them next to them is this crumb candy dish now i usually do keep candy in them you can see there's a little red spot but for the sake of this video i took it out I love this thing. It came from the Nick Box. You could tell it's hand painted by someone in the Philippines. And look at those hairy pits. I'm so happy to have this in my collection. I say that about everything, but this is one of the things I really mean that about. Moving along. I have this. Oh, it's backwards. Sorry. But this Chucky Watch. This is also from Burger King. And it's from the Rugrats movie. It makes two that I have from the collection. And I love it. Then in front of that, we have a Good Burger Burger Squishy from the Nick Box. I love this thing. I just went to see the Good Burger car. You can check my video out about that. So having this Good Burger Squishy is super cool to me. I wish it looked like the Good Burgers from the movies with the eyes and stuff, but this will do. Behind that is this Clarissa Explains It All notebook. Now, it's a notebook, so she doesn't actually explain anything in it, but I love it. Um, when I take this... Uh, what would you call it? A collection display. When I take this down, I'm definitely going to use that notebook. And under that is a Petunia tattoo from the Adventures of Pete and Pete. Now, I never watched the show, but I know enough enough about Petunia to know that's from the Adventures of Pete and Pete. I have like four of them. I'm going to use one one day. Probably when I go see Pete in concert in October. I have tickets to go see Polaris and Jounce, who are the people from the Adventures of Pete and Pete. But next to them, I have this Tommy pop-up lollipop. This pop-up goes with that pop-up, and that pop-up goes with this pop-up. But I don't want to show you guys too much, so let's get back over here. I'm just going to move him over here for the video. And we have this cool wall clock, wall clock from the Nick Box. It's based on Rocco's Modern Life, as you can tell. And I love it, but it drives me crazy because it ticks every minute. Then there's these magnets. These go with that cool... Journal from Are You Afraid of the Dark with Zebo the Clown on it. These are other monsters from Are You Afraid of the Dark. Can't tell you their names, but I love it. Very cool. Again, my pop-up. But behind the pop-up is this very, very dope blockbuster exclusive tape from the Rugrats movie. 
of Dillabai. And on top of that is this cool retro Nickelodeon watch. I love it. It's one of the few things that's actually in that style. That's one of the earlier 80s styles. And I'm very happy to have this in my collection. Found it on Facebook Market. Found this on Facebook Market too. It is a Nickelodeon coin sorter. It's from 2004. So it's not exactly 90s, but... It is 90s. That's Jimmy Neutron Blue and Dora. Some of our favorites from our childhood. So I'm very happy to have that in my collection. Then we have this Reptar watch. I don't have the box for this, but it is still from Burger King. It's still one of the watches that I want to have to complete my collection. And next to him is this ugly Chucky watch. Back in the day, they had such a hard time with Chucky's hair because everything that has his hair looks ugly. But under them is this real... Angelica watch from Burger King now that she is in the box I didn't take her out just because I like the fact that it's in the box but uh it exists it's in there it's very very cool and finally on my last shelf is my two reptar cereals if you watch my other video that one's a reptar cereal this one isn't this one is filled with a bunch of cool stuff it plays music when it opens it's super dope and then we have this Tommy Walkie Talkie. I don't have the other Walkie Talkie, and I'm not sure it would work anyway, but I love it. And then finally, there should be a lamp here. I can't find it at the moment. But finally, before part two and part three of my collection, is this Embassy Suites Hotels Rugrats Go Wild Summer Trip Pack. Inside of it is a camera that's very, very, very cool. Has uh, Chucky as Donnie in the front. It has a travel journal that folds out with Kimmy on it. Not too much stuff with Kimmy on it. It has a camera. It's, it's just it's a lot of fun. Look, this is a film, I believe. I don't know. But anyway, I'll show you guys the rest of my collection in the next few videos. If you like anything or you have any suggestions, or whatever the kids say in these videos, then leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, whatever, whatever, yada, yada. Peace.